Hey, welcome back to our channel, your go-to channel for cutting-edge tech and global power shifts. Today, we're diving into a jaw-dropping story, ASML's $1 billion mistake, and how Huawei is seizing the moment to reshape the semiconductor world. This isn't just about chips. It's a high-stakes battle for tech supremacy. Want to know how it affects you? Hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more explosive insights. Let's jump in. Let's start with the big question. What was ASML's $1 billion mistake? ASML, the Dutch giant, is the world's leading supplier of photolithography machines. Think of them as the backbone of modern chips. Their extreme ultraviolet machines are critical for producing cutting-edge chips used in everything from smartphones to AI. But here's where things went wrong. In the early 2020s, ASML faced intense pressure from US-led sanctions to restrict sales of its advanced EUV machines to Chinese companies including Huawei and its chip-making partner, SMIC. The goal? Slow China's progress in advanced semiconductors. But ASML underestimated Huawei's resilience. By 2023, Huawei and SMIC were developing workarounds, investing heavily in domestic chip technology to bypass ASML's stranglehold. The mistake? ASML's over-reliance on Western markets and compliance with sanctions left a gap that China eagerly filled. Reports estimate ASML lost potential sales worth over $1 billion in China due to these restrictions, while Huawei and SMIC poured billions into alternative tech. For example, SMIC's advancements in 5 nanometer chip production in 2024 without EUV shocked the industry. This wasn't just a financial hit. It was a strategic fumble that gave Huawei a window to strike. Stick with me. Because the real drama is how Huawei turned this into a game changer. Confronted by restricted access to ASML's critical EUV lithography machines, Huawei adopted a proactive and multifaceted strategy rather than a passive stance. The company executed its countermeasures with notable precision, capitalizing significantly on the strategic opening created by ASML's misstep. Huawei initiated a powerful surge in domestic innovation, directing substantial investment into China's homegrown semiconductor ecosystem. This focused effort, led by its high silicon division in collaboration with SMIC, yielded breakthroughs in chip design and manufacturing by 2024. A prime example is Huawei's Kirin 9000's chip, which powered its Mate 60 series. Demonstrating remarkable ingenuity under pressure, this chip achieved performance levels comparable to Western 7 nanometer counterparts despite relying on older deep ultraviolet technology, a development that profoundly surprised industry analysts. Building on this momentum, Huawei extended its efforts beyond chip design to spearhead the creation of a parallel, self-sufficient supply chain, deliberately reducing dependence on Western technology. Chinese firms across the semiconductor production spectrum from wafer production specialists like Nora to packaging equipment providers like AMEC, stepped up their capabilities, bolstered by government support. This strategic pivot yielded tangible results. China's domestic chip equipment market experienced robust 30% growth in 2024, directly challenging ASML's dominance as its market share in China plummeted from 49% in 2020 to under 20%. Concurrently, Huawei shifted from a purely defensive posture to an aggressive global market expansion. Leveraging its established leadership in 5G technology and offering affordable, high-performance devices, the company significantly increased its market penetration across Asia, Africa, and Latin America. This push proved highly successful, with Huawei smartphone sales surging 40% year-over-year in emerging markets during 2024, outpacing competitors like Apple and Samsung. Critically, the substantial cash flow generated from this global success now actively fuels Huawei's ongoing semiconductor ambitions, presenting a direct challenge to major ASML customers such as TSMC and Intel. This three-pronged approach demonstrates Huawei's strategic transformation in response to external constraints. Huawei's strike is bold, but is it enough to topple ASML's empire? Let's explore the fallout. ASML's miscalculation transcends mere corporate error, serving instead as a strategic wake-up call for Western technological leadership. The repercussions manifest across multiple dimensions. Most immediately, ASML faces significant market share erosion, 
Its compliance with sales restrictions to China has cost billions in forfeited revenue, while simultaneously creating an opening for domestic Chinese competitors to flourish. Industry analysts project that by 2025, China's burgeoning chip equipment sector could rival Japan's in scale, directly undermining ASML's long-standing global dominance. Concurrently, the technological calculus has shifted profoundly. Huawei's demonstrable advancements in producing sophisticated chips using mature deep ultraviolet lithography reveal a critical paradox. Rather than halting China's progress, sanctions inadvertently accelerated its indigenous innovation. This development exposes a dangerous vulnerability in the West's strategic posture. An over-reliance on ASML's cutting-edge UV technology now appears as a precarious single point of failure in the broader tech competition. Moreover, the economic ripple effects extend far beyond ASML itself. As Huawei drives toward semiconductor self-reliance, it threatens the foundational stability of global supply chains critical to Western industries like automotive manufacturing and artificial intelligence. Manufacturers dependent on ASML's machinery phase, potential cost escalations, and production delays, highlighting how this localized corporate setback triggers systemic vulnerabilities across the broader Western technological and industrial ecosystem. But it's not all doom and gloom. The West is fighting back with new strategies. But are they too late? Keep watching to find out. In response to Huawei's strategic advances, ASML and its Western allies have mobilized a multifaceted counteroffensive. ASML is aggressively scaling production of its cutting-edge EUV lithography systems targeting delivery of 90 units by 2026 following 60 deployments in 2024. This expansion aims to solidify its leadership in next-generation 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers chip technology, though production constraints and the $380 million per unit cost present significant scalability challenges. Concurrently, transatlantic industrial policy initiatives are being deployed. The U.S. CHIPS Act's $52 billion in subsidies is accelerating domestic capabilities at firms like Intel and TSMC, while Europe's parallel $43 billion CHIPS Act targets 20% global production share by 2030. Complementing these efforts, the U.S. is tightening export controls beyond hardware to include critical software and maintenance services, a strategy that may impede Huawei's progress but risks triggering retaliatory trade measures and consumer price inflation. This technological standoff carries tangible consequences across multiple domains. Consumers globally face mounting cost pressures, as evidenced by 2024's 15% surge in chip prices stemming from supply chain disruptions, which threatens to increase expenses for electronics, vehicles, and computing devices. The innovation landscape exhibits regional divergence. Huawei's 5G and AI proliferation may accelerate affordable technology access in emerging markets, while Western consumers could experience delayed availability of next-generation products during the industry's adjustment period. For investors, the conflict creates asymmetric opportunities. ASML's 2024 valuation decline of 10% contrasts sharply with SMIC's market surge, suggesting portfolio diversification across both Western and Chinese semiconductor equities merits consideration. These dynamics underscore how geopolitical competition in foundational technologies increasingly shapes economic realities for businesses and individuals worldwide. Here's the big question. Will Huawei's strike redefine the tech landscape? Or will ASML and the West reclaim their lead? The answer's coming, so don't go anywhere. Oh. And if this deep dive into the chip war blew your mind, smash that like button, share this video with your tech-savvy friends, and subscribe to our channel for more game-changing insights. Your support fuels our mission to explore the future. So what's next in this high-stakes chip showdown? By 2030, some analysts predict China could control 30% of global chip production, up from 15% today. Huawei strike is a bold move, but ASML's tech moat is deep. The real suspense lies in execution. Can Huawei scale its innovations? Can ASML outmaneuver a rising China? The stakes couldn't be higher. Chips power everything. Your phone, your car, even global defense systems. Whoever wins this race could dictate the future of technology. Now, we want your team. Are you Team Huawei betting on their underdog rise? Or Team ASML banking on Western tech dominance? 
Drop your thoughts in the comments. We're reading every single one. And tell us what you want next on our channel. More chip war updates, AI breakthroughs, global tech battles? Your ideas shape our content. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from our channel. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next one.